Hi, welcome to uh, linkage methods which are the measures used to calculate the distance between two clusters to learn similarity patterns between the cluster data points. So here uh, we are having different linkage methods. First one is single linkage method or it is called minimum distance method. This is distance based criteria. Here uh, it is finding shortest distance between the closest data points i and j of two different clusters which is named as r and s. For example, this is r and this one is s. So here we are having uh, two different clusters. So in these two different clusters, uh, we are having uh, n number of data points in each cluster. Uh, so we have to find out the shortest distance between the two data points in different clusters. So this is the data point from the first cluster or this is data point from the second cluster uh, uh, yes so these are the two data points are having a uh, shortest distance than other data points suppose if you take uh, this data point this one and this one so here which is having more distance than uh, this already uh, considered data points one and here this is uh, small i mean roman letter small roman letter one so uh, it is useful to find out the shortest distance between two data points which are in two different clusters so that is given here minimum distance between the data point i and j the data point i belongs to the cluster number one r and the data point j belongs to cluster number j uh, i mean uh, cluster number yes right so like that there is another one um, uh, distance metric complete linkage which is also called maximum distance metric so here this distance metric is used to calculate the farthest distance between two data points i and j which are available in two different clusters named as r and s for example this is r this is s you look at that we will calculate the distance between uh, each and every data point when you are calculating the distance so you take this one and this one and this one so like that when you are taking the distance between all the data points like this so this is the data point from the r and this is the data point from the s r having much distance than other data points distance so we are uh, um, this metric is used to find out the maximum distance between two data points i and j i is belonging to the r cluster j belongs to uh, the cluster s so this is making uh, to form tighter clusters to making the tighter clusters than the previous one and another one method is average linkage here which is also distance based criteria we will uh, take the distance between each pair of data points look at that so this is one data points which is calculated to all three data points distance then which is another data point which is also considered all the three data points in another clusters here and third data point which is also considering all the uh, data points in the another cluster so it will consider the distance between all pair of data points and then divided by total number of data points to calculate the average distance between two clusters named as r and s so here the cluster r is having n number of data points n r uh, cluster s is also having n uh, uh, n s number of data points so finally you look at that we will calculate the distance between each and every pair of data point from the cluster r and s here we are make we are calculating the distance to 1 to r number of clusters and here 1 to s number of cluster s number of cluster data points so finally we are making the average that is 1 divided by total number of clusters uh, cluster data points in the cluster s plus total number of data points in the cluster r so we are making the average distance between each and every pair of data points available in the two clusters 
Finally, a uh, centroid uh, linkage, which is a distance based metric, uh, here this is uh, used to find the centroid of the clusters, uh, that is used to uh, find out the cluster center. Cluster center, you look at that, the, we are having two clusters R and S. So, here uh, it is identifying the uh, cluster centroids. So, based upon that, it will take the only distance between the centroid uh, distance. To, uh, I, uh, to make the uh, clustering analysis. And finally, we are having Watts linkage. This is one of the important method. Uh, here, this is cluster similarity based criteria. Here, these four methods are distance based criteria. Right, Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance, or Minkowski distance based criteria. Here, this is cluster based similarity. So, it will take uh, different clusters, then it will identify the similarity between uh, two different clusters. But initially, it will start from single data point. So, each data point will be considered as one cluster. Then it will um, uh, start to form the group of data points to form a cluster. So, here uh, initially starts with a single cluster. So, it will have n number of clusters for n number of data points. The mean of each data point uh, during the single uh, single tone cluster which is equal to the corresponding data point. Suppose I am having the data point 2 comma 6. Okay, this is the data point I am having in the plot. So the mean of the mean of the this data point is again two comma six only two by one. Here six by one. It will it is giving two comma six. That is the um, uh, statement given here. So the mean of the each element is its own value of the given corresponding data point. So here it measures the distance between centroids based on the increase in squared error. Here, uh, when you are uh, taking the single data point, there is uh, uh, error will be zero. Okay, error, er there is error zero. But when you are uh, increasing the number of uh, data points by merging together, it is starting to grow. There is the possibility of growing the error from zero to some value when you are merging the data points to form clusters. So here, which is instead of using the distance directly, it is analyzing the variance of clusters. Okay, so here which is used to analyzing the similarity. Okay, that is the what is the similarity between these two data points and what is the difference between these two data two, two, two data points. If there is the difference, it will not combine. If there is similarity, then it will combine both together. So that is the thing. So it is used to uh, uh, analyze the variance between cluster data points, which is very very suitable for quantitative variables, not for binary variables, yes or no, uh, true or false, that kind of uh, uh, variables not useful for uh, this Watts linkage, which is similar to group average if the distance between data points is distance squared. Okay, so it is uh, similar to uh, the uh, um, uh, group average that is average linkage if that uh, distance is squared between uh, that uh, between the two data points. So uh, here which is easily handling the nice and outlier data points compared with remaining four uh, linkage methods minimum distance maximum distance centroid distance and average distance methods but which is biased toward the globular clusters that means you look at here initially it is taking the data points in with this single single tone cluster then it is uh, making that all the data points uh, into bigger cluster so this is its aim okay this is the aim of this method so it is biasing toward the bigger cluster globular clusters you see here we are we have uh, 10 data points 1 2 uh, 3 4 5 like here also we are having the five data points it is started with a single cluster single tone cluster but here five data points combined together here all other five five data points combined together what is the what is the aim of this method finally it has to combine all the data points together to form a globular cluster so what if there is uh, similar patterns uh, slightly deviating from uh, uh, other cluster also it is trying
trying to uh, making globular clusters so uh, biased toward the globular clusters so it can be represented in the form of um, uh, uh, the difference between a comma b can be calculated so here the cluster uh, member i belongs to a union b a union b here the data point xi so this is the uh, da data point then here uh, m is the cluster center okay the, the distance between the data point and the cluster center the cluster center is uh, a union b right yeah so a is on data point and b is another data point so that is given here uh, so here uh, a is uh, initially which is single tone cluster then it is keep on growing into n number of data points in the each and every cluster so that is what given here so this is uh, subtracted with uh, single data point from the cluster a data point minus uh, um, uh, cluster centroid of a whole square then here uh, data point minus cluster centroid of B. In, in finally, we are taking uh, the uh, number of data points in the cluster A and B divided by number of cluster number of data points in the cluster A plus cluster B and mod cardinality of uh, mean cluster centroid value from the clusters uh, A minus mean of value of cluster centroid in B square. Okay, so the thing we should observe here is it will it will um, uh, have a single data point as a single cluster then it is growing into making bigger cluster by combining all the data points using centroid value cluster variance that is the important thing cluster variance not using the distance metric thanks for watching